The nation's largest Hispanic activist group continues to push its amnesty agenda. At its annual meeting in Miami this week, the National Council of La Raza blamed what it termed a wave of hate for the defeat of the grand bargain on illegal immigration. The president and CEO of the National Council of La Raza, Janet Merguia, joins me now from Miami. Good to have you with us, Janet. Thanks, Lou. Uh, your conference, uh, first, give me your, print, your, your most important in your judgment uh, accomplishment this week. Well, I think we did a lot. Uh, we had a major um, workshop in which we brought in a number of folks to come and learn how to become citizens. And we actually helped them process their paperwork so they could leave that workshop ready to apply for citizenship. Well, so good. we're doing our part to make sure that we're promoting citizenship at the National Council of La Raza. We think it's very important I for agree. folks and newcomers to make that step. I think it's very important indeed. Congratulations to those uh, who have uh, joined us as American the, the citizens. Other, the, other, the other key point, Lou, is civic engagement. We are encouraging so many, um, into, including the Hispanic community, to make sure that not only are we naturalizing folks so that they can become citizens, but that we encourage people to participate in the voting process and, well, in, our you, and in our democracy so you that and they I may, can. You and I may argue about a lot of points on illegal immigration, border security, but one thing uh, you and I are going to agree about every time is participatory democracy and the engagement of our citizens in the political process at every level. Well, it's, a know, key it's a key priority for us, so thank you. Uh, I think it's a key priority for all Americans, particularly mm -hmm. with the choices we have coming up in 2008. Uh, let's turn to this uh, statement by, uh, is it your senior vice president, uh, Munoz, uh, who said uh, that uh, a wave of hate by radio talk show hosts is what killed the amnesty legislation? I think she said it was a factor, and it was. I don't well, think actually, no. She said, she said it was the reason. Well, I think what we meant to say is that it was a significant factor in, I think, uh, changing the nature of the debate. And I've got a quote here from New Jersey-based uh, radio host Hal Turner. Mm -hmm. Lou, just to give you a sense of the sentiments that we saw and the wave that we heard, all of you, this is from Hal Turner, who think there is a peaceful solution to these invaders are wrong. We're going to have to start killing these people. I advocate using extreme violence against illegal aliens. Clean your guns. Have plenty of ammunition. It's one quote. I can give you a few others if you want me to go through. Neil well, Bortz. Would, well, the, uh, the fact is that, uh, what's the guy's name? Hal Turner? That's Does correct. he still have a job? Uh, he's a New, New Jersey-based radio host. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that is so outrageous. I just want you to it's, understand. It's, that's contemptible. That's all well, there is to that. Well, but, that's but you said, but Munoz said, a wave of hate. You know, as well, far as I I'm concerned, well, I could keep going, Lou. I could keep going, going with more quotes. We're not going to be able to talk if you okay, keep going. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure you understand. Okay. Well, there how is many a people are you talking about? Well, I think it was just well, there was. How a, many people? How many talk show hosts? It's a culture within the. Uh, oh no, no! Don't give me the culture stuff. Yeah. You guys talked about a wave of hate. That's I want right. to hear. That's, well, an, that's an extraordinary example. Sure. I will guarantee you it's the exception to no, it's, I talk with radio talk no. show hosts on this broadcast all of the time. Well, Neil Not, Bortz, Neil Bortz from Georgia, also no, on the radio. Jenna, I, I got to, you know, you can publicize these folks till, uh, you know, well, till the cows well, come you're home. Well, you're challenging us. No, I'm not Lou, challenging. You are challenging I'm, us I'm to asking say, you to tell me how many people in your judgment make up a wave of hate. Uh, there are several radio station uh, jocks, okay. radio jo disc jockeys, okay, who are promoting enough. this sentiment. Well, I and, condemn and them, not, and I find them contemptible, and I think you okay. will find nearly every American does. Okay, and, well, then and, we agree that there was... No, we agree that those that people was, are contemptible. There was a sentiment. But Munoz used the expression, a wave of hate. Well, let, let your viewers be the judge. No, I I'm, can, got, I'm talking to you. Well, I'll be the judge of my views, and okay. you be the judge of yours. Okay, well, I'm How saying... How in the world... Is that a wave of hate? And why are we having even a discussion? You're Did you hear that lady. quote? It wasn't the only kind of quote of its kind. Did you Lou. hear what you said? You said a few radio stations. No, I said several of the radio disc jockey hosts were promoting this kind okay. of rhetoric. Well, we're promoting this kind of rhetoric, and it's a negative this is, uh, rhetoric. Janet, I that, have to tell you, this is beneath the dignity of your organization to do this. Well, do you really believe that those radio talk show hosts? Uh, those several, as you put it, I mm -hmm. misquoted you, I said a few, you said mm -hmm. several, mm -hmm. constitute a wave of hate. Do you really, as an organization, a political organization, a social activist organization, really believe that this wasn't an expression of the will of American citizens, Hispanic, black, white, Asian, whatever? I'm saying that radio uh, station disc jockeys were promoting this kind of rhetoric, and it added a negative element 
and the negative Good outcome to this Lord. debate. Janet, we have heard so many negative elements from the idiotic extremes of this debate, uh, the idiotic extremes on both sides of this debate. Uh, this is not a. This is not news to you. Well, I, I want to make sure you asked us to explain the, the comment. I think it's real out there, Lou, and our folks are feeling it. And you know what? People aren't making distinctions yeah. between immigrants and, in many cases, yeah. Hispanics, because oh, they Janet. see very little lines between how they identify the difference. Janet, Lou, there they, was a local ordinance just passed in Prince William County, yeah. and it says that they're going to uh, really uh, look into anyone. Uh, they're going to attempt to stop anyone who they suspect to be an undocumented what would you or have, illegal. What would you have them do, Janet? People have entered this country. I would illegal. have them pass a law at the federal level oh, that yeah. will deal with this issue well, in a comprehensive way. Well, That's would, the you only mean way. the one that Doing was just? Do you mean the one that was just defeated? I'm talking about. Yes, we need to continue to you have think that was a good leadership. Law? We need to have, well, no, it was, a, it was a law that should have gone on and gone to the House, and it should have received more debate, it yeah. should have received more attention, yeah. and we should have tried to Janet, get here's, uh, immigration here are the realities. law in this country. Here are the realities, and it's what socio-ethnic centric activist groups like yours are going to have to contend with. It's what the uh, Chamber of Commerce and those business elites in this country are going to have to contend with. It's what our political elites are going to have to contend with. The American people of all races, of all quarters of this country are awakening to the reality of what illegal immigration is, its source, the reasons for it, and the interest of those groups supporting amnesty, open borders. And it's not going to be but, but a Lou, simple But Lou, let me call you on that. Lou, we do not support open borders. And you have yeah. to be careful how you're using well, your let me, facts, Well, let me explain okay? to you how you support open borders. I do you not call support. for the passage of this legislation. It would have laughed 25% of illegal Im immigration would have been curtailed. Not a single one of the so-called triggers had to be in effect for amnesty to be put forward. Lou, this, this administration... bill would have gone a long way to promote a lot of enforcement, uh, a lot of enforcement provisions, a lot of security provisions, Wait. and you know it. Yeah, and well, one of I know the reasons... with the general accounting. Here, let's go with the general, uh, the Congressional Budget Office, mm -hmm. which stipulated point blank and not a single senator of either party, the leadership or the White House, any, had any reason to doubt it because this nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office said that 75 percent of illegal immigration will continue uh, under the terms of that proposed legislation. Lou, Period. I have to, look, we have, we have a disagreement on what that bill well, would have done. Well, those are facts. And it well, was, I mean, you, we can have oh. different views, but we can't have different facts, can we? Well, yeah, sometimes we can, Lou. I know right. that, uh, well, look, on one of your shows, you talked about prom that the fact that uh, illegal aliens or undocumented aliens were promoting leprosy, and that was disputed. I did disputed. not. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. an absolute falsehood. That's a lie, and that is beneath you. What we said was the national Six, leprosy. Minutes, no, no, excuse 60 me. minutes brought that out. I, that's not me. me. That's not no, me. That's you. Six, These are your words. But 60 minutes. These are minutes. your words, Jen. What we said in an eight second comment two and a half years ago, which, by the way, is exactly true, is that there are 7,000 cases of leprosy on the national uh, registry there's for no Hansen rec disease. There's no record of that. Even the federal well, we will, United would you States please Health turn? Department would you, dis dis would you like, disputed would you, that. Would you? There's a dispute on that, and they never Janet, said that. Janet, we mm -hmm. are engaged now. Mm -hmm. I love it, baby, because you know what? The gloves are off. We're going to deal with facts, and the facts are precisely what I said they are. Well, and no, you go check with the CDC. With the, no, no. Well, you dispute them, look, and that, saying, you, have them, you have them. They're, that's not the case, and we can let well, your I'm viewers you, go it, to the United States Department of Health, mm -hmm. and they could see for themselves well, that that fact, is not have, the case. We will be glad to put those numbers up on our website and on the show. Well, and we'll be glad to quote the United Please. States Department of Would Health that? and show and what, that that is not what it shows. Are. But we have to stick to the main issue no, here, No, no, I Luke. want you on the record. I want well, you to tell I'm us all, that the I'm federal here, government I'm will here, dispute Luke. our number. I'm here. I'm on the record, and I'm telling you. 7,000. What's your number? What's your number, Janet? There's no record, there's no way that okay. uh, the United Janet, States Department one, of Health can like document said, that. They do, they do not document that. they got to all be together. They do not document that, Lou, yes, and I'm sorry. I'm I know sorry you're pulling that out of there, but look, the main issue is that we need to Janet, solve Janet, you're going to have to support what you're saying here. I am. Because we are going to be relentless in demanding that you do so. I, absolutely. Okay. I've been here. We have I've taken the New York Times and 60 Minutes and the Southern Poverty Law Center to task time and time again. 
for their utter nonsense. Okay, well. And we will again. That's fine. The bottom okay. line here, Lou, is we still La Raza, need we join you. We join you. We join you in a wonderful discussion of facts and a concern for this nation and the common good for all of our citizens. Can, okay. we, can we conclude on that one? Absolutely. Bless your heart. Thank you, okay. Janet. Thanks. Janet Merguia, president mm -hmm. of La Raza. Up next, rising concern about...